Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in the world of crime and deception. A Japanese crime lord named Kuraeda rules with an iron fist. His latest despicable act, a brutal assault on a woman, has just been committed. However, Kuraeda's world quickly unravels when a mysterious call disrupts his routine. Looking out the window, he is shocked to find all his men lying lifeless. Realizing his once impenetrable fortress is compromised, he arms himself with a shotgun. But before he can react, a figure attacks from behind, swiftly ending his life with a deadly chokehold. The killer, known as Kim, is no ordinary assassin. Trained from a young age to be a lethal weapon, Kim is a former secret agent with unparalleled skills. Despite his capabilities, the government feared Kim's potential to become a bloodthirsty rogue agent. They cut ties with him, erasing his existence from all records. Yet Kim finds employment in the shadowy underworld, offering his deadly services to the highest bidders. Years pass, and after a successful mission to eliminate Kuraeda, he decides to retire from his life of shadows. With his payment in hand, he seeks solace in a quiet diner. There, he sits alone, drawn to a painting of a serene beach in Panama. Enchanted by the tranquil scene, he dreams of a life far from the dangers and betrayals of his past. He plans to make this beach his home, a place where he can finally find peace, amidst the tumultuous world he once navigated as a lethal operative. Moving to Thailand, where we meet Yang Yo, a lovely woman making breakfast for her daughter, Yu Min. Yang Yo turns out to be Kim's ex-girlfriend, and Yu Min is Kim's own daughter. But Kim, after being kicked out of the spy agency and becoming a hitman, lost touch with Yang Yo. He didn't even know she was pregnant with his child. When Yang Yo drops Yu Min at school, she explains that a nanny will pick her up later, because she has a client meeting. After school, a woman arrives as planned, but instead of taking Yu Min home, she kidnaps the little girl. Frantic with worry, Yang Yo tries to reach Kim through his ex-boss, Chun Sung, who still works at the intelligence agency. Kim, fearing for Yang Yo's safety, asks Chun Sung to tell her that he's dead and to stay away. Yang Yo turned to Kim because the Thai police can't do much to find her daughter. Child abductions are common, and the police struggle to handle the cases. One day, Yang Yo gets a call from a mysterious man, claiming to know where Yu Min is. Without hesitation, she rushes to meet him. A flashback to when Kim and Yang Yo were together, his boss Chun Sung urges him to leave without her, to protect her. Back in the present, Yang Yo's hopes are shattered. She becomes a victim of human trafficking, her organs harvested for profit. When Kim learns of her tragic death, he hurries to Thailand to see her body for himself. After receiving her belongings, Kim discovers photos of her with a young girl he doesn't recognize. Perplexed, he turns to Chun Sung for answers. To his shock, Chun Sung reveals that the girl in the photos is Yu Min, Kim's own daughter. Yang Yo had kept their child a secret from him, choosing to raise Yu Min alone. Soon, Kim receives a frantic call from his client, Shimida, who warns him about a dangerous threat. A ruthless killer named Ray, Karaita's vengeful younger brother, is hunting them down. Ray seeks revenge, and is infamous for his brutality. Shimida advises him to flee, knowing Ray's merciless nature. However, before Kim can act, Ray captures Shimida, and tortures him for information. In a desperate bid to save himself, Shimida reveals details about Kim, hoping for mercy. Tragically, Ray ends Shimida's life. Meanwhile, Kim delves into Yang Yo and Yu Min's past, determined to find his kidnapped daughter. He sets off for Bangkok, where the trail leads him. Unbeknownst to him, Ray learns about his connection to Yang Yo, Yu Min, and Chun Sung. Driven by a thirst for vengeance, Ray plans to destroy everyone Kim holds dear before taking his life. As Kim races against time to find Yu Min, Ray closes in, gathering information. Upon reaching Bangkok, Kim seeks help from Young Bei, a friend and informant of Chun Sung. Together, they uncover clues pointing to the real estate agent Yang Yo met before Yu Min's abduction. With Ray hot on his trail and time running out, Kim races against fate to rescue his daughter from the clutches of danger. But as the shadows of his past loom large, he realizes that saving Yu Min might come at a devastating cost. Armed with new leads, he confronts the real estate agent, Zhang Su. With ruthless determination, Kim coerces Zhang Su into revealing the tragic news of Yu Min's death. Enraged by the revelation, Kim inflicts brutal justice, leaving him to bleed out. Meanwhile, Ray arrives in Bangkok facing hurdles in his pursuit. Undeterred, he eliminates the thugs who try to mislead him with false information. As Kim unravels the mystery, he tracks down the woman who abducted Yu Min from school. She discloses that Yu Min was taken to a human trafficking syndicate in Thailand, but assures that his daughter is still alive. Armed with this crucial information, Kim seeks help from Young Bae to locate the syndicate. Young Bae introduces Kim to Yui, a resourceful trans woman with connections to the underworld. Together, they infiltrate a building where kidnapped children are held captive. Posing as buyers, they inquire about a South Korean girl matching Yu Min's description. A guard confirms they had a girl fitting the description, but reveals she was taken for a heart transplant. Kim, furious and desperate, confronts the guard, demanding to know more. In a heated confrontation, 
he takes down the guard and his reinforcements. In the midst of chaos, Ray appears at the scene, escalating the tension. A fierce battle ensues between them, two skilled assassins locked in a deadly duel. Their clash is intense and evenly matched, showcasing their lethal prowess in combat. With Yui aiding their escape, Kim fights for Yu Min's life against the relentless Ray. Amidst the turmoil, the fate of Kim's daughter hangs in the balance, as he engages in a life and death struggle against his vengeful adversary. Realizing time is running out, he rushes after defeating Ray in a fierce battle. Meanwhile, Yui gets caught by the police, when she tries to rescue a kidnapped boy. She's wrongly accused, but later freed when the truth comes out. As Kim searches for the location of his daughter's heart transplant surgery, which is arranged by the criminal syndicate Kaapo, Ray makes a dangerous move. He storms a gun shop, gathers weapons, and rounds up thugs for information on the kidnapped South Korean girl. Kim desperately follows the trail of his daughter, who is being taken by the traffickers. Suddenly, Ray appears, armed and ready, and shoots at Kim without hesitation. Trying to evade the gunfire, Kim finds himself caught between the relentless attack and the police closing in on him for murders. In a twist of fate, Ray inadvertently helps Kim by distracting the police, allowing Kim to dodge the shootout. As Kim races to stop his daughter's surgery, Ray finds himself in a fierce gun battle with the police. Despite facing overwhelming odds, Ray manages to fend off law enforcement, with well-placed grenades and skilled tactics. The chaotic scene unfolds as Kim and Ray both fight for their own purposes, amidst the blazing gunfire and the looming threat of capture. Kim successfully infiltrates the building where his daughter is held. He takes down the guards and surgeons, rescues Yu Min, and hides with her in a nearby hotel. Meanwhile, Lan, the leader of the Kaapo Syndicate, grows increasingly frustrated by the havoc caused by Kim and Ray. Determined to put an end to their interference, Lan mobilizes his men for a final showdown. Just as he prepares his forces, Ray arrives with a grenade, threatening to blow everything up if they move against him. However, Ray surprises everyone by proposing a partnership to capture and eliminate Kim. He blames Kim for seeking revenge on Kaapo, for his daughter's kidnapping. Lan agrees to the proposal, and orders his henchmen to assist in the hunt for Kim. They track down Young Bae, Kim's informant, and after a brutal interrogation, extract information about Kim's whereabouts. Meanwhile, Kim, hidden in the hotel, worries about his traumatized daughter. He calls Yui, asking her to take care of Yu Min if anything happens to him. Concerned for his daughter's safety, he arranges for a doctor to care for her until Yui arrives. With a heavy heart, he decides to bid farewell to his daughter, embracing her for the first and perhaps last time. He is overwhelmed with sorrow, for only now getting to know her under such dire circumstances, vowing to save her from this nightmare. Upon learning of Young Bae's murder, Kim swiftly devises a plan for Yu Min and Yui's escape from Bangkok to a safe haven. With danger closing in, Kim prepares to face Ray and the syndicate, determined to protect his daughter at all costs. Returning to the hotel, he is ambushed by Lan's henchmen. Despite being outnumbered, he uses his combat skills to defeat them. However, when he reaches his hotel room, he finds Ray and more of Lan's men already there. They have captured the doctor and taken Yu Min, stuffing her into a suitcase. Overpowered and incapacitated, Kim is helpless as Ray reveals his cruel intentions. Ray plans to make Kim suffer by killing Yu Min before his eyes, seeking revenge for his brother's death. Ordering Lan's men to take Kim away, Ray keeps Yu Min with him. In a desperate attempt to save Kim, Yui, watching from the parking lot, rams her car into the van carrying Kim. She manages to free him, and Kim races after Ray's car. A fierce fight ensues within the moving vehicle, culminating in a crash. As Kim tries to rescue Yu Min from the suitcase, Ray viciously stabs him. Determined not to let Ray win, Kim grabs a grenade and detonates it, causing the car to flip and both of them to sustain severe injuries. In a final act of sacrifice, Kim uses another grenade to ensure Ray's defeat, knowing he cannot win in a direct confrontation. The explosion takes their lives, but Kim had planned for this outcome. He left behind a bag of cash and vital documents for Yui and Yumin's safety. With Kim's wishes in mind, Yui takes Yumin, and flees to a peaceful beach in Panama. There, they settle down to start a new life, away from the dangers of their past. A photo frame holds pictures of Kim Yangyo and Yu Min, symbolizing the struggles of a father's love and sacrifice for his daughter. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.